welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. Q&A, it's 57 right up here. Yes, 57! What's going on? I just got out of the movie theater. I went to go see Trainwreck with Amy Schumer. John Cena's in it! He was so funny! Go see the movie. He's hysterical. And he's only in the first half, so you can even walk out after. You don't have to stay for the whole movie. It was a good movie, though. So if you like a story, a nice love story, happy ending kind of thing... That's, that's the movie for you. First question! <laughs> Just a little closer. Uh, Michael wants to know, who is my least favorite wrestler? Um, this is a good question. And, and uh, as I answer this, it's not, a, it's not, I'm not coming like down on these wrestlers because they actually are doing their job so well that I hate them for the roles that they are playing, the, you know, their heels, obviously. Uh, the Miz, Bo Dallas, and uh, who's the third guy? There's like three guys I can't stand. Bray Wyatt, can't stand a damn three of them. Um, you, you would think I might say Tamina because everybody says, oh, Tamina, Tamina, Tamina. She just can't wrestle, she just, you know, she needs to go. Um, but yeah, uh, Bray Wyatt, The Miz, and Bo Dallas, I just, I can't stand them. I just, they come on, I'm like, you know, if, if I have it something recorded, like if I'm not watching it live, I'll fast forward through their matches or through their, you know, segments where they're on the mic. I just, I can't stand them. I don't know what it is. Um, uh, Tamina, Tamina, yeah, I, Tamina's fine. I just, she just can't really wrestle, so she's not very entertaining. And, you know, when she was on Raw last week and she had that thing going on her head, I was like, what the hell am I looking at? Um, and then Eva Marie, you know, it was nice to see, you know, somebody trying out on the diva side, you know, because the divas, they do need a, you know, they need a injection of freshness in their division. And, um, you know, I, I don't know, it, the season just started. I don't know where they're going with it, with her training with Total Divas and NXT, you know, I just, I, I don't like, so far, I don't like the story they're painting. Um, so there's five. Bartender from The Shining wants to know if I've seen the movie Gandhi and does Feisty Pants play Gary's mod prop hunt? Uh, you know, he does watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos. I don't know if he watches Gary. Uh, he does a lot of Pat and Jen. Um, and Gandhi, I have not seen Gandhi probably since it came out. Um, I'm going to have to put that on. I only saw. I know I only saw it once. Uh, Mike Sports Gear, other one. Would Feisty Pants ever make a YouTube channel and would I support it? I, I would support anything Feisty Pants does, absolutely, hands down. Uh, would he ever have a YouTube channel of his own? No, he. I don't think he needs that. I mean, if he, you know, if he um, gets a little older and he feels that's something he can handle, I just don't think he can swing it um, at this time. There's a lot of crazy people in the world. <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. Um, Jason Bullock wants to know if those are new stickers on the rearview mirror. I mean, on the back window. I'm sorry, not my rearview mirror. Uh, why are you the only one who uses their real name on Grimm's Toy Show? Two questions for Jason Bullock. I don't know. You know, um, uh, everybody knows me as my pal Alex. I've had the name since forever. Uh, I, you know, when I ran the music store, I was Al my pal, but that was taken in email, so uh, I just switched it around, my pal Alex. So we're going back to like 1995. <laughs> before that maybe 93 I, I'm not sure but I've always been my pal Alex so I said that's gonna be my stage name that uh, that'll be it my YouTube name my pal Alex and it's stuck and there it is uh, no, they're not actually new stickers back there um, it's just you can kind of make them out like right over my shoulder there uh, what it is is uh, there's the Decepticon symbol uh, daddy's car the custom bumblebee car that I got uh, painted it red to match daddy's car Watch that video. I'll link it for you. I think that's my police sticker, my PBA sticker. And then I have zombie stick figures, like a, like a dad and a, and a son for me and Feisty Pants. Yeah, he likes cats, so we have a little little cat zombie. <laughs> a zombie cat. I don't know. Um, Brandon Sadowski. Thank you for all the fan mail, Brandon. Uh, I love it. Wants to know if I think his brother is weird. No, why? What did he do? <laughs> Tell me why you think he's weird. 
Uh, WWE Master wants a shout out and loves my loves me on Grim and Doohop. And when Doohop drops, when Doohop Doohop drops me, I had to read that a couple times. Uh, there is a move that Doohop does. It's called the Doohop Drop. I don't know when Doohop has ever dropped me. Uh, we haven't fought. We're all Team DF. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand your question. Uh, but no, you can't have a shout out. I don't do shout outs. If I did shout outs, I would just have a show of shout outs. So, uh, but thank you for loving us on the show. Tommy Boy Knowles wants to know what's my favorite game. It's EverQuest. I play EverQuest on the PC. I do a bunch of, um, EverQuest instructional videos, uh, and other things of just, you know, going through on the adventures. I'll, uh, I'll link one of the more popular ones. You play it on the PC. Uh, it's been around forever. Uh, I started playing in 95. 95? 99, I'm sorry, when it first came out. And then, uh, with their first expansion, when it became so popular, I played on my friend's account. I bought my own account with the first expansion, uh, called Kunark. Um... And I made my own characters from there. Uh, Jeremiah Baez wants to know what's my favorite pay-per-view, my favorite legend, uh, a favorite weapon, and favorite type of match. You know, um, my favorite type of match was always Survivor Series. In the original Survivor Series, it was it was elimination process. You started out with five guys on five guys or four on four, you know, however they lined it up. And um, when somebody got pinned, they left. And then it would became five on four. Or, you know, maybe like um, like if you remember when uh, Dolph Ziggler beat the members of the Shield. Um, they, uh, it, it, you know, everybody else got eliminated. And it came down to Dolph Ziggler. It was Dolph against like four guys or something like that. And he ended up winning. That's the kind of Survivor Series that I'm used to seeing. I don't like that there is one pinfall and then they're out. That's not Survivor Series. That's just a multi-person tag, like a six-man tag or a ten-man tag. That's all that is when it's one pinfall. They, the, the writers need to figure out what Survivor Series means, and the whole event, the whole pay-per-view should be elimination matches. I don't know why they changed it. Um, I don't really have a type of weapon that is a favorite. Um, maybe a chair? I don't know. Weapons shouldn't be... <laughs> Weapons make it interesting, but it shouldn't be needed in a wrestling match. Um, my favorite legend has to be Bret Hart. I mean, he was my favorite when he was a current wrestler. So, uh, you know, being that now that he's a, a legend, I would go with Bret Hart. And my favorite pay-per-view, I don't really... You know what? I do. Um, the first SummerSlam, 1988, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, what sold me... This is what sold me on wrestling. Brutus the Barber Beefcake was supposed to take on the Honky Tonk Man for the Intercontinental Championship. Title was on the line. Honky Tonk Man just, you know, he was the, he wasn't a cheater, but, you know, he always, you know, had Jimmy Hart outside the ring, and there was always something where, you know, interference played a part, and you just couldn't beat Honky Tonk Man. He was also a good wrestler, so there were times where he just won. But um, Brutus the Barber Beefcake was up and coming. He was the face of the time, and he's like, oh my God, he's gonna be, he has to beat Honky Tonk Man. So what happens on main event before before the pay-per-view, before SummerSlam? He gets into, into a match with Outlaw Ron Bass, and Ron Bass uses his cowboy spurs, and he cuts up Brutus's face. Like, legit on fucking television. And we're like, <gasps> So they bumped uh, Brutus from the match, and, um, you know, naturally, and uh, Honky Tonk Man is out there, and he's like... I triple dog dare anyone to come out of the locker room and I will beat you. One, two, three, in the ring. And what music plays? You're like, and you're like, whose music is that? But I knew and my brothers knew and we're like, it's the ultimate warrior. And the ultimate warrior came out and he just runs over Honky Tonk Man. One, two, three, pinned him in like 30 seconds. It was unheard of. The Ultimate Warrior was just that amazing. Like, you need to watch that. Go on the network and watch that pay-per-view. It's just insane. Insane. It was the very first SummerSlam, I want to say 1988. Um, it made the whole card. Made the whole That is my favorite match of all time, period. 
Ciro uh, Zanetti wants to know, do I like Doctor Who? He saw the Doctor Who poster up on the wall in the other video, um, the other q and You know what? I don't, um, I don't hate it. I just don't watch it anymore. Uh, I watched it, like, you know, more than five years ago. It was a couple of Doctors, several Doctors. I didn't know they were on Doctor 12. Uh, he was telling me about the other Doctors on uh, Twitter, YouTube, one of those. But uh, but no, I haven't I haven't seen it in ages. And um, I, but I did watch it years ago. Uh, Evo wants to know what's my favorite Transformer series, and what team would I like if the Yankees didn't exist? Uh, <laughs> wow, you know, I think if the Yankees didn't exist, you'd have to go with like the Do Dodgers or the Giants when they moved out west, because um, they were both originally New York teams. Uh, and my favorite t Transformer series. Uh, I did, I did love the Transformers Prime that eventually turned into Beast Hunters. That was really well done. Um, Beast Wars, very, very good. Not Beast Machine, uh, Beast Machines? What did it turn into? Beast Machines, awful. Um, but I think, all, hands down, I think is like the original Transformer series from, uh, 1984. With, uh, all the original guys. Like, kind of like when it first came around. I don't think anything beats the original. There are things that are well done since the original, just not as good as. Uh, Rosalinda wants to know who's my favorite WWE superstar. It is Roman Reigns. Rob Bailey wants to know if I could cast myself in a role in a superhero movie or TV series. Uh, who would you be and why? And he also wants to know who do I think are the most... Who... Who... What? Hold on, I'm paraphrasing my reading. <laughs> I gotta take better notes, damn it. Um, who do you think you are most like in the comic universes? Marvel, DC, Image, etc.? Oh, okay. All right. Um, all right. Uh, Justin asked this question, similar question, like a long while back. Although I didn't choose a superhero role, I chose to be a Jedi. And um, what did I say? I wanted to be seen somewhere in the Clone Wars... Uh, like, like, and I think I went, like, all, you know, like, uh, dirty old man with it. Like, I'd be Ahsoka's, um, uh, you know, playboy, and I'd reappear in the, uh, the Star Wars Rebel series, and I'd have a role in Episode 7. Um, <laughs> Ahsoka's hot. I mean, I know she's a cartoon character, but I mean, she's based on a, on a real-life character who is hot, so... After the Age of Apocalypse, the first Age of Apocalypse, because if there are any other Age of Apocalypses after the first one, they all suck. Uh, the first one was done so well. It was just very... It all wrapped up the regular universes, and it told a nice storyline, and then it was like, BAM! So, X-Man, Nate Gray, that would be my choice. And... That would answer both of your questions. Uh, I would totally play that role. I would play the role of X-Man. I look nothing like him, but <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Um, Beast Hunter 5000 wants to know if I could pick any two Transformers and battle them against each other, who would I pick? You know what? Um, everybody has fought everybody, but what I'd like to see is um, the original series, uh, Generation 1. I'd like to see Brawn. He was that little green armored truck. It was very strong. I'd like to see Brawn, um, maybe battle, see, I don't know, there's not, uh, there's not really a Decepticon or an Autobot, like, of his size and equal strength that I'd like to see kind of go at it. You know, I don't know. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you think of something. Uh, Brawn, pick Generation Brawn, look him up, do some homework on him, and let me know who you think would be a good opponent for him. Uh, and we'll go with that. All right, so uh, NJCC is coming up next week. Um, NewJerseyCollectorsCon.com. Uh, go to their website. You can pause and read this for all the information. And if you got any fan mail, that's the address there. Alex's Toy Show, P.O. Box 13, Bayville, New Jersey, 08721. Uh, follow me on uh, Amino Wrestling, Movies and TV and Star Wars, and Amino MMO. I'm my pal Alex on all of those. Instagram, ideas.lego.com. And the show, obviously. My pal Alex everywhere. Uh, Sunday is Q&A and predictions. Monday is... Oops. Monday is uh, 
is toy hunts and hauls. Tuesday is baseball card videos. Wednesday, Feisty Pants does Minecraft. And Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we leave it open for everything else. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys at the NJCC show next week if you're going to travel out there. I'll be looking for um, the new Transformers 4 uh, dump garbage truck. He's a garbage truck. I'm looking for Feisty Pants. His name is Junk Heap. He's popping up at uh, discount stores like Marshall's, Ross stores, Five Below. If you see him uh, and you feel like picking him up and sending him to the fan mail, let me know that you're going to do that, and I'll uh, I'll reimburse you somehow. Um, that's all I got until next week. Thanks, everybody. Like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe for more.